Hey guys, Luke Wessel here, uh, Team Latitude 64. I'm on the Ambassador team, I'm 958 rated, so I just wanted to give you a glimpse on what a MA1, uh, right in the middle uh, between amateur and professional disc golf player throws in their bag. Uh, and this is what I got going on for the 2020 season. Uh, to start with, uh, we got the two brand new bags from Latitude 64. Uh, I'm going to be trying them out throughout the season. Uh, up here we have the Pro E4 bag, and below we have the Core Pro. Uh, both of them highly recommend. Uh, both are built super well, super sturdy. Uh, I had both of their prior successors the last couple years, and I gotta say it's a great, great, great upgrade. Uh, but to start with, I'm going to go through my main bag this year, which is right here in the E4. And then everything in here I'm not going to go through is basically all my uh, backups uh, to my main bag. So, starting off with the slow discs. The slowest disc in my bag is going to be the Bite. I love the Bite. This is actually my uh, stamp that they did for me last year. It has me and my two dogs on there. Um, and I throw this thing anything within 100 feet that I want to give a gentle run. Just pop it up, uh, unless if it's a headwind. Uh, but just pop it up. It should go to the basket. It's like a plain catch. Uh, my putter of choice this year. It's going to be the BT Hard Maidens. Found the Maidens last year. Um, tried to figure out what putter fit my style best, and this seemed to fit uh, just perfectly. So, uh, for another approach disc, it's going to be another Maiden, but it's in moonshine plastic. Uh, it's going to be more stable uh, than these Maidens when I throw it. Uh, it holds a straight line, hyzers out beautifully at the end. Uh, great for 200, 250 foot shots. I'm just trying to get up, down, and straight. Uh, for mid-ranges, oh, nope, still on putters. Two approach discs of a BT Soft uh, Burst Harp, and then also a Slammer. I use these interchangeably. It just depends on uh, what I'm feeling like. If uh, I need something to crash into the ground and not skip, I'll usually go with the Harp since it's softer plastic. Um, if I'm coming over on the top and doing a straight approach shot, then I usually take the Slammer. Uh, again, it's just what I feel like at that point in time. All right, now we're gonna talk about some mids in my bag that I'll be throwing this year. And first, we're gonna talk about Johnny McRae OptoX Fuse. Love this disc, uh, great for Anheuser shots, nice and floaty, great in tailwinds, point shoot, it will go the distance. And the OptoX just makes it a little more stable, which is great uh, for combating a little bit of wind if you have it on the fairway, but um, anything inside, you know, 310, 300, uh, I'm using this shot for up shots if they're point shoot straight or Anheuser being my least stable disc in my uh, arsenal of mid ranges. Next, we have a very, very beaten truth. Uh, I've been using this for about three, four years now. Uh, very beaten. Uh, I use this if I need to do an Anheuser shot, but I need it to pan out at the end so it just doesn't roll over and dump, but it actually just glides, 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 uh, which is pretty fun. I throw this truth probably more than any of the other truths in my bag, which is one more. Um, but this is probably my, my, my old reliable, uh, so to say. Uh, if I want to put power on it, just put a little hyzer, it'll flip up and just glide, which is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, that's the reason why we throw discs. Uh, next will be the more stable version of that, which could be a Glow Emac Truth. I uh, love this stamp in particular. It's from the Cedar Creek Open. Uh, down in Fairmount, one of my favorite tournaments here in Minnesota to go to every year. Uh, this is going to be for those shots that I'm hyzering or if I need to throw straight and just tail off at the end a little bit, making sure it doesn't flip. Or if it's windy outside, I'll go to this truth just for a little bit more stability. Um, but again, another straight shooter. Uh, absolutely love it. Well, last, uh, no, second to last on my mid-ranges, I got a West Side Bard. This is going to be in the VIP plastic. Uh, found the bard a couple years ago, um, and it filled the slot in my bag where I can throw something hard, maybe come over on it. It'll hold a nice line, but then it'll cut back at the end. Um, not quite as stable as a justice, and not quite as straight as a truth. Uh, fits that middle slot for me, and it feels really great in the hand uh, when I grip it. Uh, so yeah, VIP bard. Um, I throw this one a lot too, uh, especially on... Uh, the shorter, more technical wooded courses uh, here in Miniota. All right, next, my very last mid-range is gonna be the first of my three uh, animal discs. I like to joke and call this disc the Meowstis. 
uh, but it's actually a Justice uh, Fusion and with a picture of my kitty cat, Bombay. Uh, my other dogs, they get a bunch of love. They're always out on the course with me. I have them on discs. Uh, they're on my bite. Uh, so I wanted to show love to our third uh, fur baby uh, back at home. But uh, this is, uh, again, super stable disc. Reaching for it if I'm in trouble, if I need to do a quick forehand, uh, if I need to go over the top on something, I'm usually reaching for this to get out of trouble. Uh, but yeah, the Meowstis, great disc. Next we'll hit fairways. Uh, starting off, understable, loose X Maverick. Throw it nice and hard, pops up, turns a little bit. Uh, just fantastic for any Anheuser shots, um, tailwind shots. Uh, new in my bag, so I'm still learning it. Um, but so far I've been very impressed on how it flies. Uh, again, uh, great, great, uh, easy uh, turnover disc. My second pet disc uh, is going to be a Goldline Explorer. This has my Silver Lab India on it. Uh, this one's quite beat in, so it has nice flip up to it, and it just holds the Anheuser. Well, the Maverick will come back and Heiser out. This is my straight point shoot Anheuser. Uh, just goes, and it's fantastic. If I need to beef up a little bit, I've got a uh, Chameleon Lucid X Explorer. This is great for touch forehand shots, great for backhand shots that have uh, need a little stability. So if I'm doing a point shoot in a headwind, I'll reach for this. Um, very flat, very pretty. Um, something about me in clear discs. I just uh, love to throw and lose them, but hopefully I won't lose this one. Next, I got the getaways uh, for my next step up. Uh, great driver, been having fun with it the last year. Um, able to throw it hard, have a little bit of tip up, go straight, comes crashing back. Uh, great utility disc all around. I throw it... Uh, Next to, as far as drives, next to, uh, probably second most uh, out of everything. But this is the backup one that's a little more stable. I got a little bit more beat up on which we come to my third animal uh, of my bag, which is Hunter, my golden retriever. And what I love about this disc, I actually slammed some chains at a uh, Cedar Creek Open, hole 17 on Central, which is a big Anheuser shot, it was like 300, 310 feet. Uh, so he got extra treats and belly rubs when I got back from that tournament. And then lastly, for overstable fairway, Pioneer. Fantastic disc, very dumpy, uh, great for skip shots, flex forehands, even small thumbers. Um, super happy with how this performs uh, in tough situations. Uh, yeah, I'd be pretty lost with that bit, without that disc. All right, and finally, distance drivers. These are what I'm gonna be throwing this year for long range. Uh, open holes, um, and the one that I'm really excited for that will be a staple in my bag, I absolutely fell in love with it last year, are the recoils. Uh, I bagged three of them, all different stabilities, different feels, uh, but absolutely love this disc. It fits the slot nice for my Max D uh, distance driver, whether in tailwind, crosswind, headwind, uh, and depending on what it is, depends on uh, which one I throw. But my most overstable one, uh, the most pretty of the bunch. I got this one from my buddy uh, Richie Ortiz after a, uh, a Who Would Win Worlds bet, and I picked Mr. Paul Macbeth uh, in my group of pool. Uh, sorry, Latitude, I did have Emerson as well, so I was pretty set. Uh, but no, it's a great disc. This is my most stable one. Uh, this is the one I'm throwing on hyzers, I'm throwing in headwind. Um, basically throw, boom, uh, 375, 400. Um, absolutely love the feel and flight of this disc. Next recoil I got is actually from my buddy Travis Denell, who is sponsored by Infinite Discs. This is an Infinite Discs edition recoil, number 35 out of 800. Uh, this is going to be uh, just a fantastic optoplastic, uh, nice and clear. There's a theme with my discs, I like clear apparently. Uh, but really cool artwork. This is going to be my basically the, the one that's beaten slightly. I'm going to use it on a little bit more max distance shots. If I throw it with power, it'll tip up, it'll ride a little bit, but then come back. Um, but yeah, just another great uh, addition to the recoil lineup. And lastly, I have a first run recoil. Uh, this is the most flippy of the three, and this is going to be my main tailwind driver. Um, if I need to put something on a hyzer, stand up, or if I need to come over on something, I mean, it, it just flips up nice and just rides, 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 and fights out at the end. 
But uh, yeah, these are my workhorse drivers for the season, anything over 350 feet. Now these last three are going to be more utility discs. I have a couple Raiders in the bag. Uh, one is a special edition Raider. Actually, is this for rollers uh, when the wind is right? Uh, it is quite flippy. I've beat it in quite a bit. Uh, so I put on a big Anheuser, it'll flip over and just roll for days. And then if I need max D on a wide open shot in a headwind, I have the Loose Raider, very pop toppy, uh, very beautiful die as well. Um, goes far, goes far, and uh, yeah, it uh, fights the headwind quite well. And if there's an 80 mile an hour headwind, or if I need to do a grenade, or a thumber, or something frankly stupid, uh, I have a stiletto in my bag. I don't have the near arm for this disc, but it does get me out of situations. Really great utility disc, but yeah, that's uh, basically what I'm gonna be throwing this here. I'll be working stuff in and out of the bag as we continue on. Um, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I'm really excited to see what the uh, Maverick does, the Raider does this year. I'm gonna continue to lean on my recoils and maidens, but uh, again, that's my bag for uh, 2020. This is Luke Wessel from Team Lab 264.